catch up with Jackie Numbs and check it out because Kanye West changes his album from Swish to Waves. Now, when I hear Waves, okay, and we know what Kanye West is on, I'm thinking about to drop a fucking porno. Okay, the last time I really saw some nice ass waves was when Ray J was fucking the shit on out of Kim K. So I was expecting those type of waves. However, his album is going to be titled Waves. Now, when he first told us that his album was going to be titled Swish, he said it was a temporary placeholder. And because of that, he would eventually change it. Now, he finally did. Now, he tweeted out new album titled Waves. Now, he tweeted out some fucking hieroglyphics. And basically, this shit looked like the proof of uh, that the earth is flat, right? It's the same album track listing that he adds a bunch of other fuckery in it. Act 1, Act 2, all of a sudden I'm seeing Kim was was here or Kim never left, Kylie was here, the fact that I'm seeing Kylie and Kim on anything musical already tells me this shit started with a negative too, I can't imagine Kim K breathing on this motherfucking project, so I'm hoping she stays the fuck away, okay, now we see some other hieroglyphics and I'm trying to decipher this shit on the fly, listen, we see Flacco, so I'm hoping that's probably a feature, okay, I'm fucking with ASAP, I'm seeing Swiss was there, which means he probably produced a couple of tracks, I'm seeing some other shit, what the fuck is that, the Twin Towers, what is going on, now listen, I, I can't make sense of this shit, okay, Kanye, just bring it, now, Wiz Khalifa took exception, right, looks like he's a super fan of Max B, Max B, he's the silver surfer, okay, he's pretty much a New York rapper that was coming up kind of like even under cam and like Dipset and like he created his own lane, it was everything that was kind of wavy, okay, he was singing the bitches like he was the cookie monster, except they were loving it, okay, no Ja Rule, however, Wiz Khalifa tweeted out, Please, don't take the wave. Then he said, Max B is the wavy one. He created the wave. There is no wave without him. Then he says, he's the reason I sing on all my songs. That's the wave. If there's nothing with that sound, it's not wavy. Then he tweeted out a couple links for Max B. Now, Max B is actually in prison, okay? He's in prison because he was connected to a murder. He's doing 75 years, okay? Now, I don't know what type of waves he's going on in prison, okay? Now, listen, and by the way, there's a petition. A lot of people are now being introduced to Max B. If you guys don't know, there's a petition for his case to be re-listened to that possibly he could be released. If you guys want to go check it out, please Google it, okay? Now, let's continue because... Kanye West actually says, Waves, the album formerly known as Swish. Then he also pays respect to Max B. He says, all respect to Andre Harrell and Max B. Then he says, I got this record. Niggas can't even play before 2 a.m. Honor Puff, Honor 50, Honor Q-Tip, Honor J. All right. Now, let me just say this. Kanye West right now, he's definitely overselling. He's saying this shit's going to be a album of a lifetime, not the album of the year, right? He said it. He said this ain't the album of the year. This is the album of a fucking lifetime, okay? Now, we have to evaluate the source here because I see a lot of people running with his word, okay? And, of course, Kanye West is what we call a musical genius. However, he told us that Jesus was going to be good. It was a dud. So I don't know about just listening to Kanye. Do I think it's going to be good? I think it will be, but give us the project. I don't want to hear from Kanye's secondhand opinion because Kanye is into some weird motherfucking shit. Kanye is hanging out with niggas that's rocking skirts and shit like that. I'm not into that. Drop the fucking music and I could decipher for myself. All right? Now, it's going to be dropping on February 11th. Apparently, it's going to be having some theatrical releases. So, it's going to be playing at Madison Square Garden. going to be playing here. And they're going to have a rollout for it, which is kind of dope. And I'm expecting it to be something monumental mental right of course Kanye West sometimes he gets too much into this artsy shit right remember when he was releasing Yeezus he do have people meet up around a motherfucking like campfire and he play this shit with s'mores and shit roasting I don't know what he's gonna do for this album however when it drops nothing and all the fucking antics and theatrics none of that matters when the music actually drops so if the music is whack we don't want to hear it so I'm waiting for February 11th I think it's gonna be good all right and when it does drop Job. Hopefully we have something to talk about. Get in the comments, box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. He has changed his album title. Wiz Khalifa didn't like it because, of course, Max B. But he also paid respect. And I'm talking about Kanye. He paid respect to Max B. Get in the comments, box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. It's your boy Jack Academics, man. Come on.